What is the most overrated movie of all time? Avatar. I've never seen a movie be so popular at the time yet have zero pop culture impact at all. It's incredible. You're right, I can think of absolutely zero even mildly interesting or funny quotes offhand from that movie. And I saw it in theaters twice. Any live-action remake from Disney. They're all cash grabs. If La La Land had been filmed with lesser-known actors everyone would have said it was shit. Instead, it won a bunch of awards it didn't deserve. La La Land was the most generic Hollywood self-masturbatory movie I've seen all decade. But it taught us all about how unsuccessful white dudes can teach successful black dudes about the true meaning of jazz and how music should never change or evolve in any way. Shakespeare in Love How the fuck does that win an Oscar over Saving Private Ryan and Life is Beautiful? Because Weinstein, most Marvel movies, like it's an amazing universe and I get it, but cinematically speaking they're not that great. An Avengers Endgame is a great movie, but does not deserve to be the highest grossing movie of all time. I'd argue that Infinity War is genuinely a well-made film, focusing on the villain's arc and having some surprisingly solid moments throughout. But yeah, same cannot be said for a ton of Marvel films. Tried watching Thor The Dark World last week and couldn't give a shit about it for more than 10 minutes. I question your decision to choose the worst of the Marvel movies to rewatch. Crash. I get so angry every time I see this question come up because this is always the correct answer and it's such a terrible movie. Overacting in every stereotype known to man do not a good movie make. It's not the correct answer at all. After the Oscar win 15 years ago, this movie has been widely reviled. Everyone thinks it's trash. Grease. The plot and story are so fucking whack. Change everything about yourself to fit in with people that make fun of you and to get with a boy. Who liked you just the way you were before? I don't get it. I think it was supposed to be cheesy and kind of fucking whack. Not like serious movie with some sort of moral to it. Let's not forget that the actors really don't fit the roles. They're all 30 year olds pretending to be teens. It only came out last year so there's some recency bias but I still think if Joker had no connection to the Batman villain people would have just forgotten it. Not meaning to come of as rude, but I isn't that obvious. I don't see how it gaining publicity from being affiliated with Batman affects the movie at all. You're definitely not being rude. It's a fair point. I just really think the publicity helped the movie so much. We didn't have a good Joker since The Dark Knight. And since the movie was pretty good, and Joaquin Phoenix did a great job playing as the Joker. People loved it automatically. I liked the movie, but the shitstorm that came from a lot of Batman fanboys after Parasite won Best Picture steered me to this opinion more than maybe I should have. I'm not a huge Batman fan. Dark Knight Rises kicked ass though, and thought Joker was really good. Depressing, dark movies have a strange way of staying in my mind. Frozen. This fucking movie invaded my university campus when it was released. Fully grown men were listening to the Austin R Lounge on a daily basis. I had never been driven so insane. Intro song was underrated, sadly. Black Panther. It was mediocre copy of Madagascar 2 at best until the fight with Killmonger. Then it was extremely predictable and cringy with horrible CGI. I think people hyped it up because of it being an almost all-black cast and wanted to cherish that aspect but as a movie on its own it was decent at best. 100% in agreement. The popularity of the movie isn't derived from it being incredible. Based on this comment, I went to Wikipedia and read the plot synopsis of Madagascar 2. The similarities I could find were 1. Mostly takes place in Africa. 2. Tribe leader can be determined by ritual combat. End of list. Are there more similarities I'm not seeing? Because even these similarities aren't that similar. In Madagascar, the dad fights and the son seems to dance his way out of conflicts. I think the leader's uncle or something? Wanted to be the king. 
And here comes Alex magically appearing and the leader wants to just give him the title. It's kinda switching to Chala and Killmonger. I guess. Killmonger. In this original superior version of Black Panther. Is the lion who just wants to dance? Titanic. We all knew the ending. When Passion of the Christ came out someone asked my Sunday school teacher if he had seen it. His response was, no, I read the book, the Star Wars saga, I've watched all of them, but personally for me it's just me. Greater than yeah, once Jar Jar left the series kinda went downhill. I'm working on a Jar Jar spin-off script. If I think about it I really only like three of them and one of them is Last Jedi which everyone shits on. I remember walking out of the theater after watching Avatar like, I don't get why there was so much hype about this movie. Hunger Games. They butchered the hell out of the book. Hey if you hated the fuck out of this shit stain of a movie, I recommend you watch what I thought the movie would be. Battle Royale. That movie is about a bunch of students who find themselves on an island and are told that only one gets off. They're each given a weapon and told to fight to the death. It's fantastic, brutal, bloody and everything The Hunger Games was not. I. E. Actually a good movie. You have no idea how disappointed I was when I found out that The Hunger Games was not like Battle Royale but just like Twilight in the forest and with no vampires. The Shape of Water. What was that? I think you'll find it's called Grinding Nemo. Starring Troy McClure. American Hustle. I feel like two movies exactly like it come out every year. And everyone forgets about them the moment they only win one Oscar for sound mixing or some shit. Star Wars FIRS are few movies were great. Yeah, once Jar Jar left the series kinda went downhill. Please tell me, wait a minute. Issa watched a dumb movies and was mooey mooey happy. Then. Mesa see Jar Jar not in anymore so I get very sad. The original trilogy was awesome. Timeless. The prequels were great too. But the sequels. Ugh, WTF man? What happened? The sequels were disgusting. All Disney made Star Wars movies. Rogue One was great. Episode 7 made me very excited. The fact that the big thing at the end was just another Death Star was of course annoying but the possibilities it opened up made me super happy. And then they did the rest I would have hoped they planned the story for the trilogy before filming. TFA. Looper was so close to being good and making an excellent philosophical point about like cyclical time. Then it caught Bruce Willis' disease in the last third and devolved onto generic action movie. I was so mad. Scarface. Horrible acting in a cringe Cuban voice attempt. I loved this movie when I was younger. But yay it definitely hasn't aged well. The ending shootout is it and who doesn't love a desktop covered in coke that you can stick your face in. If I had my way, I'd never work. I'd just stay home all day. Watch Scarface 50 times. Eat a turkey sandwich. And have sex all fucking day. Then I'd dress up like a clown and surprise kids at schools. Then I'd take a dump in the back of a movie theater and just wait until somebody sat in it. Hear it squish. That's funny to me. Then I'd paint and read and play violin. I'd climb the mountains and sing the songs that I like to sing. But I don't got that kind of time. Come on man. The acting was awesome. Pacino when he was with his love he could smile and being goofy. Not always being serious, like a real person. Also the music. Every situation has a music. For example, when he is with his sister the music is angelical but at the end. The music is angelical but with distortion because now she ain't the angel. Also, Montana is a poor guy with poor guy taste and what he think what is fancy. You can see him with his Cadillac mansion or in the scene when he ate the soup in upper class. That is something to fresh your hands. Sorry my English and lack of vocabulary. Fast and Furious. Green Book. Classic Oscar bait. I like Green Book. I haven't felt that good at the end of a movie in a long time. But, to each their own.
Same here. I joked about how I was gonna watch it for a while. But then I actually sat through it and really liked it. It, IT Chapter 2 was boring. I thought, Us was pretty overrated. The more the movie explained itself, the less I enjoyed it. It leaned on really played out horror movie tropes when they didn't need to. It seemed like they came up with a great idea for a movie and then couldn't finish filling it out for some reason. Inception. I thought I liked it when I first watched it. Then I watched it a few more times. My buddy was a film student and was really into it. Every time I watched it it got worse for me. The monologues are so cringy. It was worth it to get the South Park spoof though. Interesting because I really loved this movie. Each to their own. Avatar. It's just dances with wolves in space but with less interesting and one-dimensional characters. All it's got is the special effects. Any Star Wars? Yeah, once Jar Jar left the series kinda went downhill. I am working on a Jar Jar spin-off script. Breakfast Club. I respectfully disagree. Why do you say that one? Shakespeare in Love was one of the worst picture of the year winners I can remember. John Wick. It's no different to any other generic action movie but is praised like the second coming of Christ. Well we have all seen the story before in a million action films John Wick is definitely not overrated. Choreography aside, the fights feel more real than almost all other action fights. He gets hurt and has to improvise, and carries injuries through the film. He runs out of bullets and builds reloading, swapping weapons into his thought process. It is showing you someone skilled in their art using their knowledge and experience to succeed. It was definitely groundbreaking in those terms and made a lot of other films in the genre look ridiculous by comparison. Just as the Jason Bourne films made the Bond franchise change to be a bit more realistic, so John Wick raised the bar again. So while the John Wick world may be fanciful the action in it feels very real. It's like any other generic action movie TBVH. But the choreography and camera work is where it really shines. There's no shaky cam to hide the flaws in the action and everything feels butter smooth from fight to fight. It's like someone took the generic turd and polished it to a shine. I think that's a lot of the appeal. The fight scenes are amongst the most well filmed of any action movie. Stop right there sir. You cannot name movies that are underrated. No but actually John Wick is a good movie as well as its sequels. This movie changed action movies forever. It set a new bar. How is that not something to be appreciated? But killing with pencils and books. Pulp Fiction. I don't know why, but I could never to get into it. I'm a much bigger fan of other Tarantino movies like Inglorious Bastards or Django Unchained. You and me both. I watched Pulp Fiction and was like meh, at least I can say I watched it now. I never want to watch it again. Heard ya the first three times lol. La La Land, not the say of all time but SRSLY what is PPLS deal with Joker? Can someone who genuinely enjoyed this movie please explain why? It's not that I think it's bad. I just think it was really really mediocre and I really don't get all the hype. I liked it cause it showed his previous kind of life and the gradual increase in breaking points that crossed a line in his brain to completely lose touch. It was edgy the whole movie and kept me on my seat. But I wouldn't say it's a fantastic, great movie or anything. Great acting though. You're supposed to feel it, it's a sad movie. Not a serial killer horror movie. Black Panther. Toss up between two Oscar Best Picture winning snooze fests. The English Patient and Driving Miss Daisy. The Godfather. It insists upon itself. What does that even mean? Because it has a valid point to make, it's insisted. I got that reference. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Your finger is gonna be in that delete button or your brains will. That's because it has a point to make. It's insistent. How can you have an opinion if you haven't even watched the whole movie? Avengers Endgame. Don't you dare speak to my baby like that. On another note, I think it got so much hype because of the cliffhanger at the end of Infinity War. Star Wars. 
first three were okay, now they just need to let it die. Kill it if you have to. But Rose though, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.